everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you some bits that I bought in Zara and it's going to be as much a surprise to me as it is to you what's in the box because I kind of go into Zara Blackout sometimes and I just kind of buy things and yeah then the box arrives at my door and I've actually genuinely forgotten what's in it. So We're gonna go through this box now. I know it's in this bag, because obviously I bought it. Um, but yeah, I can't, I genuinely can't remember what's in the box. So, but let's go through the box first, because I'm excited to see what's in this, genuinely. Okay. Okay, there's one thing that I think is in here, and I, I feel like I think it's in here and it's probably not. So maybe it's not in there, but... Oh yeah! Okay, this is super cute. This is a cute little bag that I got. Now the real test will be to see whether this camera fits in here. I feel like it might. Maybe. This comes in two colours. I got it in the black because... Like my favorite color clearly with the little wooden kind of fake bamboo handle and it's got a longer strap as well let's have a look at what this is like i'd say i'll probably just use the little handle but you never know it's so cute this was 39.95 so it's got this little clasp here which opens up like this and then it opens out it's not a huge opening i mean you can comfortably fit your hand into it but it's not a huge opening. I really like it. I think it's like, it's cute and will hopefully encourage me to not bring such big bags out with me all the time. You know, just a little cute little bag and you can take off these longer straps as well if you just want it to be kind of that shorter handle. And um, so that's really nice. So I like this. I've forgotten about this and now I'm really happy I have it. Okay win that's cute yay first item okay second item Ooh. okay i'm gonna have to try these on i don't mm, mm, these feel like they're gonna be very long okay let me let me try them on and see okay it's a no from me on these jeans they are fine but way too long for like a mom jean for me they just look they look awful frankly so they're going back i'd say they'd be lovely on like a taller person and they are quite reasonable like they're 29.95 and i do like the color but they are horrible on me <laughs> like truly awful so let's move on i'm gonna see if there's a different like type of trouser in here that i can change into no, there isn't, so I'm just gonna have to put my jeans back on. <sighs> okay, fine. Well, that's one definite for the return pile, anyway, over here. Okay, next up. Oh yeah, okay. I don't know if any of you know this, but on the Zara website and app, there's this section called special prices, and you can get some really nice bits for like, uh, like way lower than you, ex you would expect from Zara. And I picked up this, if it would let me untie it, this kind of faux suede jackety blazer thing for, it says here 39.95. I know I didn't pay that for it. I'm pretty sure it was like 20 euro. Let me try it on anyway and show you guys and myself what it's like. Oh, this is cute. Oh, I like it. It's like, kind of like a blazer. It's really nice. It's got like, it's very just kind of straight, no collar, ties at the front here, um, that has the kind of that faux suede effect. The sleeves are like a nice length on me. It says, okay, it says here that it's 40 euro. I'm really sure I paid less. Let me just check my app real quick. I like this though. Just, you know, it's got pockets. Oh, okay, amazing. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, I paid $19.99 for this. So it's not a sale item. It's just like they obviously just special price some stuff every now and then. $19.99. I like it. Okay, that's going in the keep pile. Then this was another item I got in the special prices section. Let me see how much this was. This says $25.95 and I paid $12.99 for it. It's called the Soft... Soft? No. Rustic Textured Cardigan. I go back and forth on cardigans but when it's plain like this yes I'm into this see I like cardigans that you kind of just wear more like a jumper like you're never gonna I'm never gonna unbutton this and um, it's got kind of like pretty shelly buttons in a way and it's longish it's got some fluff attached to it I like this I'd wear this as just like a top it's got like a nice, like it calls it rustic and definitely rustic and it definitely is. It's got like that kind of textured feeling, but I really like it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Remember that thing that I said I thought about, but I couldn't remember if I bought it or not. I think this is it. It's a pair of boots. Yeah. Okay. So I'm always, oh. Oh no. What is these do not look like they do in the app. What are these? Okay. So I don't know if it's because they're black, but on the app they look very plain. Like it's just a plain black fabric. But in real life they have like a weird, I'm not even sure if you'll be able to see it in this. Oh, there. A weird pattern to them. That was not what I was expecting. Okay, we'll try them on and see. But I'm instantly like, what? Okay. I feel like I'm just putting on socks. Oh, I know I'm not gonna like these. I can feel it. No, no, absolutely not. They look like Okay, there they look fine. Like, the heel is lovely. Sorry, this is like the least elegant <laughs> try on ever. Okay, they are really lumpy. See, the problem with them being fabric, I'll try it. The problem with them being fabric is that if you wore jeans or anything underneath them, it's just going to be super lumpy. It's like having a, a thick knit on your leg. And then, so there's where my jeans have rolled. So you'd have to make a really conscious effort to make sure like your jeans weren't gonna roll. And then you just end up looking like you have a really weird lumpy leg. And no, I do not like these at all. And I actually don't like the toe. The toe is like really rounded or something on it. And I'm not really a round toe gal. I like kind of, not a point, but like, point and then round at the top so these are no I'm not even going to try on both of them at once that fabric ugh, I've never seen a boot like that some people might love it but I think it looks like a big sock with a heel attached it's that it's that ribbed can you see that it's no Mm -mm, no. You're going back. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, they're going back. And that's a disappoint disappointment because they were 60 euro. Mm -mm. Well, look. Means I'm saving money. They can go back. Okay, they're for sure in the return pile with those jeans. So disappointing because I love, I, like I really want a nice pair of over the knee black boots. I kind of thought they'd be like, you know, that stretchy fabric material you get in some things, in some of those boots. I thought they'd be like that and they're really, they're really not. One thing that I feel won't fail me, a big ass scarf. This was 25 euro. It's the soft... What, what's it exactly called in this? The, the soft fringed scarf in, you guessed it, 
black. It's just got nice fringing at the bottom and these things are like blankets, let's be honest. I actually had somebody on work the other day be like, Katie, it's gotten cold here, where's your, where's your blanket? Because I always, every year, I get a new Zara scarf blanket and I just go around work because I'm a very cold creature. Everyone else could be warm and I'm like this. So this is kind of my look in work. <laughs> Once it starts getting cold, this is just how I sit at my desk, wrapped up and cozy. This is perfect. I won't be returning this, that's all I know. Okay, that's in the keep pile. The last thing, Last thing I want to show you guys is, surprise, surprise, another black item. These are leather trousers. I get leather trousers from Zara nearly every season, but these are different to the ones I normally get. Um, for one, they're probably more detailed than the ones I normally get. I normally get like the leather look leggings, but they're kind of detailed at the top, but they're actually, I don't want to say a boot cut, but they're like, Kind of good. Let me try them on. I might cry if I don't like these because I like ran to a shop to get these because they sold out online and I just really wanted them. They feel great. We'll see what happens. Okay. First observation. And it's something I have probably discussed before. Zara made clothes for giants. Literal giants. So these are supposed to be like, I feel like a cute crop above the ankle and they're just not on me. My five foot three frame sees them as more of like a regular length trouser, which I don't love. So I'm very sad about this. Also, I feel like the hip or the, the pocket placement is really weird because they come up kind of high, okay? And this is here and that's all fine. And then these are just kind of like surplus to requirement you know i feel like it would look better if they're not there i do like the um the placement of pockets on the butt and i like the belt but they're just i don't know i feel like i need to mess around with them a bit you know when you like get an item of clothing and you need to try it on with everything you own i feel like these are one of those things I'm disappointed though. I really wanted to love these. Let me just check it in the mirror again. Yeah. Yeah, no, these are probably going back. This was not a successful shopping thing. Let's review. Weird fabric booties that I just know they do not show up. Warning, they do not look like what they look like online, so they're going back. Unflattering length jeans. They're the classic mom fit, ankle length. Not for a five foot three, no. Blanket scarf, you know, for the cold-blooded of us. Absolute yes. It's a soft touch or soft feel one. It's fab. I have so much shit everywhere all of a sudden. Black faux suede blazery thing. Love, keeping. This cardigan, I will wear this to death. I feel it in my bones. And then my cute little bag. Not that one, this. My cute little bag, love that. And then, and yeah, these leather trousers are going back. I feel sad about it because these are the thing I was like most looking forward to. That's just kind of typical in online shopping, isn't it? So, three returns, four keeps. That's not bad going. I'm normally more successful with online shopping, but this is probably a more true to life <laughs> first look video um, because online shopping doesn't always turn out the way you want it to. And yeah, things don't always look the way they look online and then you see it in person case in point those weird boots and you're like excuse me but yeah that's all i have for you guys today i hope you guys enjoyed this try on first look zara haul with me i figure because i have bought so many bits it i may as well just you know film it 
first reactions and all that stuff. So you can see me go through my despair about not being six foot. Even 5'6". I'd be happy with 5'6". I could live with that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up and you can comment down below letting me know what your latest online shopping fail is. And you can also subscribe. I post a new video every Friday, so there's always new content coming down the track for you guys. And yeah, that's all for this week. I will see you next Friday. Bye. Ugh. Okay. Damn it. It's <laughs> close. Excuse me. No. Oh, I'm not in focus. I like it a lot. Hold on. What is wrong with my boots? Eh. That's just such a weird. That's weird. Ugh. What else is here? Oh yeah. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I got overexcited.